Good morning. It is Tuesday, July 1st. I'm Lauren Prisbal. And I'm Tim Ryan. Dallas County and charity groups are making plans to house 2,000 illegal immigrant children. Fox 4's Saul Gars is live with the details. Saul? Yeah, today volunteer groups like the American Red Cross, Salvation Army, Texas uh, Baptist Men, they're going to be meeting with Dallas County officials to try to figure out just how they will handle uh, the kids. Uh, meantime, DISD has offered three vacant school buildings. Dallas County says, however, it doesn't know if they'll be using those buildings. They already have nine other facilities to choose from. Now, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins announced that Dallas County will house up to 2,000 children uh, who were caught entering the U.S. illegally. Now, this will help alleviate some of the congestion at facilities in the Rio Grande Valley. He says the federal government and not the citizens of Dallas County will help will pay for the housing. Now, the Dallas Baptist, uh, Texas Baptist man, rather, uh, has already been working and interacting with children at the border facilities. They've been through a, 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 a traumatic event, I would say, you know, traveling and then getting here and then being stuck in the the facilities, but now now they're going to have a little more freedom, you know, to, uh, to to be a kid. Now the volunteer groups will help uh, clothe and feed and possibly even educate the children, uh, but they do have to work quickly to come up with a plan to make it all run smoothly because they anticipate the first wave of children at the end of the month. Now as relatives are found in other parts of the country, then those children will be sent there and then possibly other children will replace them. Uh, but uh, the county judge expects these kids to remain here in North Texas on average, he says, about a month. Reporting live in Dallas, Saul Garza for Good Day.